welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a little break from sawmill build videos, mainly because I haven't had time to edit them. Somebody offered me some chickens for free, so we got a chicken coop now. I'll take you for a little tour before we show you how we built it. The chickens were free, so I figured the coop should be too. And the total investment in the coop building was the paint on the walls. Everything else was either salvaged or milled. This roofing was left over. The door latch and hinges were something I had. Can't really see them now, but the hinges don't even match. But it's four feet wide by 80 inches long. It's mounted on skids, so it can be moved. We have a double nest box here. I've already collected the egg today. It was only one. It's got a decent slope to the roof, so all the snow and whatnot should come off. These chickens will free range, but they've only been here just about two weeks, so. This little one is an escape artist. Kind of marches to the beat of its own drum. I was told what all the chickens are, but I don't remember. There's four hens and one rooster. Pretty basic chicken coop. Bedding, water, roost. I don't know how well that's going to pick up in there. The plywood was all free stuff. The door is salvage. The only thing that was really bought in was what you see here, and we'll get to that in a later video. But it's an automatic door. Oh, I'm hooked up. Automatic chicken door. So, right now, trigger it to go to off. And down it goes. With this, if I'm not around dark, I know the chickens will be inside and nothing can get in at them. I've also learned from building this that uh, if you stop at mid-cycle and try to make it go the other way it just screws things right out. This fencing will all be coming down probably within a week or two and then they can just roam the yard on their own. It was only a temporary thing just till they get trained up to as where home is. Where the other one went. Off on a tour again, no doubt. There she is. She got a little afro and everything. She lays blue eggs. They are delicious. Did you forget how you got out? How are you going to remember how to get back in? So we'll break this up over a couple of parts. Well, probably three or four. But let's uh, take a look at how this was constructed for 
pretty well zero dollars. We have a couple of pallets here that are going to be the base, but I want to have this on skids, so we're going to have to make some skids. Mill is still a, a work in progress, but it's working, so I'm happy. I'm very happy with it. So we've got a couple of logs here that are probably six, seven inches, something like that. We're just going to mill a flat off the top, and that'll be our skids. These smaller logs are nice because you can pick them up and throw them around. The big ones, not so much. Camera's picking it up, but this log is rather misshapen. Unfortunately, these two pallets are built differently. This one has runners, this one has blocks. When I made up this plan, 
the logs are going to sit up in the fork pockets on these runners. That is still the plan, but this one won't sit right, so we're going to cut the boards out of the bottom and put some spacers in so they'll sit at the same height. on there well. That's okay. That's getting covered over. It's going to be a lot narrower than I anticipated.
get some gigantic four inch duck screws here for this. Which aren't actually gonna bite by that much. See if I can throw my dock out. Perfect. We're going to cut a bit of a chamfer on the ends of these skids. Chainsaw doesn't like them much, but I'm going to cover the bottom of this with some half inch plywood. I got a ton of these one foot by three pieces that my buddy come across, and I figured we can put it to use here. This is not regular plywood either, it's uh, called MDO, meaning it's the overlay, or signboard. Just not sure how I want to lay these on here. We're just going to nail it down with roofing nails. Because the only other nails I can find are three and a quarter inch framing spikes.
there's a floor covered. It's not pretty. There's a little gap here because these are scraps, so they're not all the same size. But for what we're building today, this is good enough. So now we need to figure out walls. And I haven't thought that far ahead. I don't know how big I want this to be, or how tall I want this to be. We're going to go ahead and make this mobile now, because I need to make room to get a log on the mill to make the rest of our lumber. seen better days. We're going to come from the bottom up. The reason for that is as we're pulling it will hopefully lift a little and stop it from digging into the dirt as bad. Something like that. I don't intend on pulling with my hand. 